On August 27th of 1968, Richard L. Chartrand, the owner of Barney's Casino in Lake Tahoe, Nevada, stepped into his Cadillac. Before he could get out of his driveway, the car was blown up by an explosive device planted underneath his floorboard. Although there were many suspects in the case, none were convicted. This case would go on to be one of Lake Tahoe's most notorious unsolved mysteries. In August of 2011, nearly 43 years later to the date, the secret to cracking this long unsolved case might have fallen into the hands of a Redditor named Jordan Laub, seen dancing here. After his father purchased the old Barney's Casino, which by then was known as Bill's Casino, a large safe was found behind a fake wall. Someone clearly went to great lengths to conceal this thing, and considering the casino's shadowy past, people's imaginations went wild with what could be in there. And after enlisting some help from Reddit, Jordan promised answers. But, like so many of these kinds of stories on Reddit, this one became as much about treachery as it did mystery. So what did happen with Jordan's mystery safe? Let's find out! Reddit has had a lot of mysterious artifacts pop up over the years. Sometimes it can be like Legends of the Hidden Temple, but in website form. And although a lot of times people tell me that I should cover the mystery safe for Reddit, the thing is, there's a lot of mystery safes. And today I'm going to talk about the very first one, which was the mystery safe brought in by Jordan Laub under the username Secret Safe. If we go to Jordan's original post on Reddit, which he updated many times over the years, we'll see that it's now been deleted. That doesn't bode well. And if I had to guess why it was deleted, well, the thing about Reddit is... Reddit has a way of turning on people if things don't go well, and the story... things did not go well. Thankfully, a lot of the original text from this post has been salvaged across a number of different websites. The first of which can be found on an old casino message board. My name is Jordan Laub, and my dad purchased Bill's Casino, which is located in between Mont Blue and Harris Casino in South Lake Tahoe. We have found a safe behind a fake wall in the casino. The original owner of the casino was killed in 1986 in a car bomb explosion said to be conducted by the New York Mafia over a debt he never repaid. Note that Jordan has the wrong date in his post. The contents of the safe, or who owned it, are a mystery, but we believe that whatever is in the safe holds great value because anyone who would build a wall around it was really trying to protect it. Here is a link to the front page of the Tahoe Daily Tribune which features both the death article and the safe. Stay tuned for the update. And this next part is really important to how the whole thing falls apart. Reddit will be the first to know what, if anything, is in the safe. I will be there with my camera taking both video and photos of the opening before the newspaper gets to it. Now, how did they come to find this safe hidden behind a fake wall anyway? Here's an interview with Jordan's father, Mike, explaining how they came to find the secret safe. You know, we demoed the whole building and then as we are working our ways up to the higher floors and the second floor is when we... There was a protrusion uh, that, the best way to describe it, was just a squared off uh, wall. I couldn't understand why it was there. I asked my architects, engineers, and their indication was that they thought it was going to be a, a part of a stair system. Uh, but as the workers pulled it back, it was actually a safe behind the wall. And what adds even more intrigue to this story about the secret safe is that it might have actually been easier to simply remove it from the casino than to build a wall around it. Once again, Mike explains. The, what, what's interesting about it is that the safe is about eight feet from an elevator. So they could have moved it. Yeah, easily. I mean, just get a furniture dolly, slide it down, and, and I mean, the trouble, to drywall a wall, you have to frame it, you have to put the drywall up, you have to tape, you have to texture, you have to let it dry, then you put the paint on. It's a several day process, whereas a, a dolly could get it out in a matter of an hour or two. Well, this would tell me the fact that they opted to hide it rather than take it away. I would think that that would mean that it's something not so much valuable, but rather something that they didn't want to be found. And considering the circumstances of this story, uh... And now, continuing on with Jordan's original post, after people asked, he provided some pictures to prove that he does have access to the safe. Here he is, posing with the safe and some of his friends. He also stated how he intended to open the safe. I am going to bed now. It is four in the morning, good night. I will open the safe when we get the blowtorch. I will ask my dad tomorrow morning exactly when that will be. No, I am not worried about the Mafia. And wow. 
wisely there were Redditors who advised against the Blowtorch. You see, the thing about the Blowtorch is it might get the safe open, but it'll also destroy anything else that burns more easily than metal, which is most things. And you know, there's also the remote chance that there's explosives inside of the safe, and then he would ironically go out like the safe's original owner. And despite warnings, uh, it seemed like Jordan was really, really insistent about using that blowtorch. But he also promised that he was going to livestream the whole thing, which made people very happy. Hey Reddit, good news! It's being open Tuesday, 1 o'clock PST. It will be streamed via Google Plus Hangout, the 10 person video conferencing system. The stream will be available for thousands to watch free of charge and without having to be Google Plus members. I will post that link soon. People were a little bit distrustful of his promise that he would deliver because, as we all know from Reddit, OP never delivers. But Jordan insisted. Reddit first, news second. Words that he would come to eat. You know how I said that Reddit turns on people when things don't go well? For Jordan, that moment would soon come in the form of his next update. This one salvaged by Nick Engstrom on Google Plus of all places. Edit 9 2011 For anyone still following this, my dad has signed the rights to exclusive safe opening to Oprah for no monetary benefit or any other gain. I do not come back to write it in high esteem. I am sorry. I will not even be at the O Network opening. No one but my dad will be. Please understand my frustration with this. I am sorry. Oprah. They sold out the safe to Oprah. Rich ass Oprah for apparently no money. And that's when Reddit turned on Jordan because you see people were looking forward to a live stream that coming week. Instant gratification which was suddenly taken off the table and now they had to wait for Oprah. And it got even worse because Jordan informed people that Oprah's episode wouldn't air until January of 2012. This was September of 2011. People can't wait that long. And eventually, to add more fuel to the fire, Jordan turned around and said that, you know what? He was gonna get in there somehow and snipe Oprah's stream of the safe opening for Reddit. Another delay. This is where you start losing followers and upvotes. Then again, if you've got Oprah, who needs Reddit? Don't forget the little people that got you here, frowny face. That is exactly what I told me dad. I'll make sure I open this safe live. I DC what Oprah says. Now, if you know anything about this sort of thing and how television works, you know that he can't just go in there and uh, hijack Oprah's stream. There's NDAs and all kinds of stuff to sign, and if Jordan tried this, he would wind up in Oprah jail. Most people on Reddit were smart enough to know this, and the pitchforks were officially out. A decree. By virtue of being a completely average Redditor, I hereby proclaim the following decree. For the crimes against Reddit, including but not limited to blatant lying, stringing along, selling out to TV networks, and abusing Reddit upvotes in a scheme to get famous on online internet news articles and a free locksmith, I do humbly yet strongly suggest this man be downvoted into oblivion, downvote the original post, downvote other related comments made by the user regarding the original post, and downvote his children's posts who are yet to be born. Register on Reddit and make their own posts. I call upon the masses who I have no right to control or request actions upon to especially downvote the original post regarding this heinous mountain of lies into the netherworld where it will no longer be read or even visible to casual readers, thereby reducing the interest of Oprah and outside media entities, the purpose of which is to bring the power and attention of this safe opening back into the hands of Reddit, or in no hands at all. Upvotes giveth, and downvotes taketh away. <laughs> So at this point, it was safe to say that Jordan Lau was officially persona non grata on Reddit. He would pop in on the account from time to time, make a post, and as we can see here, anything he would ever say for any reason would just be downloaded immediately. And then it got even worse, because January came and went, and Oprah never showed the safe opening. We know that the safe had been opened because one of Jordan's updates said that it was. Edit, the O network has opened the safe, and I have no idea what is in it. The way my dad is acting, it could be something big. 
Well, whatever thing was in there, which might have been something big, Oprah just decided to not tell us. Oprah was keeping from Reddit the thing that Reddit decided was rightfully theirs. And people were pretty mad. Yeah, I found this out the other day. I hope that guy dies in a fire. I hope he dies in a fire inside a safe I'm not allowed to know about. And the fact that Oprah would go through the trouble of setting up this safe opening, you know, getting together a crew to make a show out of it and whatnot, and then just didn't use it, that raised a lot of people's suspicions. Considering the background of the safe, a lot of people thought, well, maybe there was a reason why she didn't show it. Maybe she couldn't show it. Maybe there really were some kind of mob secrets inside of the safe, or something tying it to Richard Chartrand's death. Well, according to Sergeant Jim Halsey of the South Lake Tahoe Police Department, Nothing of substance for us inside, and the contents are being kept a secret until the Oprah Winfrey show airs in a month or so. So we know that there was nothing too spicy in there, and according to the sergeant, the show would air in a month or so. But that month went by, and then years, and for all we knew, Oprah was just keeping those juicy secrets all for herself. You know, maybe we would just not have any idea what was in there. But there was a pretty interesting video produced this time by Jack Durst of the Fabulous Lake Tahoe YouTube channel. I personally have scooped Oprah Winfrey. In this video, Jack brings on his friend Dale, who claims to have been the last person to have access to that safe. Just to satisfy everybody's curiosity, I do believe I was the last person in that safe when Mrs. Chartrand was getting ready to sell the casino. She had me and the security guard go back to the safe where she opened it and what she stored in there was a bunch of big bags of casino chips, obsolete casino chips. And myself and the security guard removed them from the safe, put them into a cart and took them out and loaded them on my bus where I drove them out to Mrs. Chartrand's and put them in her garage. And when the new owners took over, they weren't going to try to move this big huge safe, so they just walled it off. Thank you, Dale. Excellent. And if Dale did clean out this safe, he might have missed something. You see, Jordan disappeared from Reddit a long time after this all blew up in his face, but he did come back a couple years ago. And when he came back, he popped in and responded to a few people with what he says Oprah found. I was the original safe. Oh, hey, it is you. So, what happened? We opened it. Thirteen pennies. <laughs> 13 pennies. Oprah opened up that safe and found 13 pennies. And Jordan responded to multiple posts that day telling all of them about Oprah's 13 pennies. So there you go, no riches, no mafia secrets, no dead bodies, just 13 crusty old pennies. I really wish I was there that day to see the look on Oprah's face, getting this whole crew assembled, you know, a big expensive production, and she opens it and boom. 13 pennies. Congratulations, Oprah. Don't spend it all in one place. Anyway, like I said, this is the first of many secret safes that popped up on Reddit over the years. I will be covering some of those stories, so if you want to see those, definitely subscribe, and until then, check out this other video about Reddit's secret hard drive. I'm out of here. <laughs>